Hey everyone, welcome back to Manti Local. I know it's been a while since I've made any videos, but I'm going to do a quick election rundown. Which should come as no surprise here, but this is a Republican-controlled county, and our Republicans did a strong showing in the county commission races with all of them getting a clean sweep. So all of the primary winners, Carol Felton, District 1, Tal Sadiq in District 3, uh, uh, Bob McCann in District 5, and George Cruz, the incumbent in District 7 at large, all charged ahead to victory here on Election Day. The interesting results came out of the school board races, uh, where Charlie Kennedy and Heather Felton respectively won for Districts 3 and 1, uh, for those seats, and it was those were really hotly contested races, but uh, they managed to pull it out. And and the school board referendum, uh, the constitutional amendment to make the school boards uh, partisan races again, that also failed. So thank goodness for that. Uh, so we do not need our school boards, honestly, being decided by one third of the population or two thirds of the population, just the whole, the whole community should be able to have a say in what happens in school boards. And people should be campaigning on ideas, not partisan identification. No, that's just my opinion. Um, some really good talent here though. Um, sorry, Lindros Falamaki made a, a good showing for a first time candidate as a Democrat, although the numbers are what you would expect, about 35%, you know, if all the Democrats turned out, then that would be good. But yeah, speaking of turnout, uh, we had about 80%. Let me go here, get the supervisor of elections office. Supervisor, uh, vote Nancy. Okay, I can't, one second. So let's get the election night results. So vote Manatee, we've got, yeah, 80.63% turnout. Uh, that happened this uh, between the early voting and the election day voting and vote by mail. We have 80.63% turnout. It was higher in District 1, and we saw some really high districts, 86% uh, 80, for parish area. Um, also, District 5, like really strong turnout in District 5, which is pretty amazing. And um, District 2 was lagging behind. I mean, one of the precincts was only like in the 50s, like 54, 56 or, or I don't know, some low percentage number, like 56 or 60 percent. So um, it was just a mixed night. And so and it, it's reflected across the state, really. Uh, so the results are kind of interesting there. Um, Again, though, in the state houses and the congressional races and in the presidential race, Republicans ruled the roost and they had a fairly easy victory, even if the uh, amount spent on it doesn't necessarily reflect that. So there we are. So here we go. The general election rundown. Uh, yeah, so Trump easily won in Manatee County 61% to 37%. Uh, smattering of votes for other people. All right. Um, Rick Scott handily defeated Debbie McCarcel Powell. Uh, again, similar profile, 61 to 37%. You know, this is the effective straight ticket, you know, for the most part. Uh, it's not exactly straight ticket all the way down, but you can see that this is the, about the percentage that you're going to find for all the Republicans in these races some even more. So Vern Buchanan, about 64%. Jan Schneider got 35%. Uh, I'm going to skip over here. Will Robinson got 59%. So he seemed to pay a little bit of a price for betraying home rule. He didn't quite get the same numbers as everyone else. So Adrian De Villiers had a pretty strong showing here, but unfortunately not good enough to unseat Robinson. Okay, uh, Bill Connerly, our uh, rubber stamp from the Planning Commission, cruised through just on the strength of his 
Republican bona fides, defeating de a Democrat Lisa Miller. And 35%, uh, you know, pretty good showing, but, you know, people have got to be able to reach people on the issues more if they're going to unseat somebody like Bill Connolly. Come back, Lisa Miller. You got name recognition. You know, come back. Scott Farrington easily, easily makes it in for supervisor of elections. You can't believe somebody actually wrote in somebody else, but okay. Carol Feltz, 64%, uh, defeating Glenn Pearson at 26%, and Jen Hamey, NPA, at 9%. Tal Sadiq coming in at 60%, to Diana Shoemaker's 39%. Bob McCann, wow, look at that, 72%, to Joe DeBartolomeo's 27%. Uh, George Cruz, 66%, to Sari's 33%, and then there's the, uh, the judges, they all survive. Okay, um, school board, Heather Felton, surprising win there, you know, considering that Parish and, uh, District 1 is generally more conservative, uh, they still went for the teacher, Heather Felton, lifelong educator, which I think is a good thing, you know. Uh, they both have different strengths. You know, Mark Stanek was also a very strong candidate, but, and he sure hustled like heck, you know, got to give him credit. He hustled like heck. He was at everything. That man was everywhere. But uh, they chose Heather Felton instead, you know, so uh, nice try. See you next time, Mark. Uh, Charlie Kennedy beat John Lynch. You know, uh, and so again, another... Republican Party, you know, promoted candidate. This is the outlier. And I don't think he did so great on his first mailer. It was kind of, kind of uh, embarrassing with some really bad, bad mistakes. Uh, but anyway, so John Lynch is out and Charlie Kennedy is in. And then we've got, you know, the fire districts and everything. I'm not going to go go through all these uh, and all the amendments. Just uh, Amendment 2 was the only one that overwhelmingly passed in Manatee County. And I think it may be the only one, well, the, uh, and also the Amendment 5, which was the, um, the homestead uh, exemption increase. Uh, with, that one passed with flying colors. And also the two uh, tax referendums, one for the schools and one for the tourist bed tax, they both passed with flying colors. So the teachers will be safe. They won't lose their pay and we'll be collecting a little bit more from the folks that are offering shelter for tourists so that we can have some more money for infrastructure since the previous board tied the hands of the board for the next four years and would not increase our impact fees to the full rates. The money's got to come from somewhere. And so the tourists will be shouldering a smidgen more of it. And that's it. That's our elections for 2024. 2026 is starting and there are already candidates lined up for the school board races out there. Um, Reverend Golden is back in the mix and there's going to be a hot race there for the school board. It's going to be districts two, four, and six, which is at large. That's Jason Bearden's seat up for the county commission and the school board seats in the respective uh, districts for two and four. And so things are going to be quite lively, I think, in the coming year. So that being said, Thanks for paying attention this year. It's important that we stay vigilant. Uh, the new board will be seated very soon, and there's going to be a host of issues that are going to need their attention and serious consideration. Hopefully, they'll get the agenda under control with no more last-minute crap being pushed onto the agenda when the public will not have a chance to comment. But we'll see what kind of discipline the new board brings, who they'll make as chair. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, I'm not going to weigh in on that yet. But it's time to start looking at the agenda and starting to hold the board accountable. Because there's an investigation that they promised us for Hurricane Debbie. There's the animal kennels for the dogs that's been sitting around for years now. And these things need action. 
So it's going to be an interesting time. And, uh, and God bless everyone. And we will chat again. We'll be back in the mix, paying attention to what's going on in our community. Thanks and have a great night.